financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is not necessarily a fun one, disabled and now broke. Brian Small. Good morning, Ken. Jeffrey Linden. Good morning, Ken. Jeffrey Kirshner. Nice to see you, Ken. Nice to see you. What is it disabled with is your topic. <laughs> disabled is your topic. Disabled and that broke <laughs> is both of your topics. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so we're going to do it with a case study. Oh, wait, before we do a case study, anything new in the Social Security disability world with COVID and the transitions? A little bit. Actually, they're starting to crack the door open just a little bit in terms of um, just trickling in in-person hearings. They've now set up for certain specific cases about having in-person hearings. We've been now for the past year and a half or so, most of the hearings have been by phone. They also now have started a system that if you have, uh, I don't know if it's Microsoft Teams or another program that they're allowing you to start setting up video hearings in your office but now they just came out with a memorandum saying in January they're starting to roll in just a, a trickle of in-person only the chief magistrate of each um, office will be doing these in-person hearings they don't want to make people. Does that person decide how many they do or so forth? I, I think a lot. I think there's certain criteria you still have to, to meet to get it, but they are starting to open the door just a little bit to allow people to come back What's in. What's your preference? In person? My pre well, here, it's a good question. So for convenience sake, I, I, I'm, I'm loving being in my office, my phone, my client comes to me, we're on the phone with the, with, with the judge, and I don't want to admit anything, but it makes nonverbal communication much easier with your client when they're with but, you and they get don't, stuck. Don't say that. <laughs> or, or, you know, so it does. I would just, it just, the fact of the matter is, you know, if you're on video it, in your it, office, you, you lose that. It reduces it, the bruising. Because when you're in person and you're, 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 you're kicking in your car and you're crying under the desk. And they go, yeah. oh, why did you kick me? Exactly. Right. Um, my preference, though, is clearly... It's to, never happened before. Right. Ever. <laughs> you're just, hypothetically. Um, my preference is to be in person. Uh, you know, you, you lose so much uh, in translation sure. with, 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 with being it's on a, a phone. So a benefit There's a lot of there. nonverbal communication with the judge, and you, they can right. see you and yeah. taste you, so hear you smell. It's, it's, so it's kind of funny because you going got, to the, you're to going back to in person somewhat, and the United States Bankruptcy Court just list, uh, issued an indefinite order saying we're staying virtual. It's a, I think it's a question of what the judges want in, 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 the, different, in the different sectors. They, they must, I think the federal judges are all in the bankruptcy and the federal courts seem to like COVID protections of you, staying you know, on the, Zoom. And that's very important to, to note because the judges, when we just had a seminar recently, the chief judge said there are so many of the judges that are considered at risk because they're, they're above the age older. of 65. Yeah, because they're older. Right. But, they're I, older. I, I, but I, I, tell I you, wanted to say, I don't know what oh. you were doing, is just I going back to the kicking and, and, and the nonverbal communication. I still remember this case where I had a client who was being deposed and it was not going the way I wanted it to go and I was trying to signal the client and he kept saying things I didn't like so finally I said I need a bathroom break and so I go to get up and I'm nudging him to go and I finally said to him you need a bathroom break to the client and then I dragged him into the bathroom and I said to him what is your problem I said, I don't need, ever need to go to the bathroom. If I need to go to the bathroom, you need to go to the bathroom. And if I suggest, does anyone need a break, it means you need a break. Now, let's talk about what you're saying. You know, and you go, it's just sure. on and on. But, but wait, I mean, that's so, how the game is played. But my other practice, workers' compensation, we are back in person. We are courts, fairly normal, 
They're starting to conduct trials and everything else in workers' comp, although they're giving some exceptions. If, you, if one party is not comfortable or whatever, you could kind of phone things in. If claimants aren't comfortable, that too. But we are starting to, we are back to in-person for workers' compensation in the state of Michigan. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. All right, let's do a case study to kind of deal with this disabled and now broke. Our client is Rick. He's 53. He owns Rick's Landscaping and Snow Removal. He's had three employees historically. He's the owner and the worker. So this is a hands-on guy. He is an LLC. He pays in tax estimates. 2000 to 2019, he's been, you know, the last 20 years up till 2019, earned a living. $100,000 a year basically. He was always being cha chased, though, by the tax man because he was always late on his estimates and trying to catch up. 2020 and 2021, COVID was very hard on his business. First, they had the shutdown order. Then it's been difficult finding help. He has back taxes, 2017, 30 grand, 18, 25 grand, 19, 20 grand, and 20, 10 grand. So it's about $85,000 in outstanding taxes. At the end of 2020, he had $85,000 in credit card debt. He does have a house worth $300,000. It's got a mortgage of one seventy-five, dollars so he's got a hundred and a quarter of equity. Is he married or single? He is single. Okay. August 2021, tree falls on Rick while landscaping. His back is destroyed. He has not worked since the accident, does not think he's going to be able to work in the future, all of his employees have quit. Here's problem. He owes $85,000 in taxes. His credit card debt is now at $110,000 and growing because he has no income coming in. He's got eight grand in savings left that he's just kind of holding on to because he doesn't know what his future is. It's not a good situation. First question, Jeffrey, walk us through. Can Rick get Social Security disability. Yes, he can get it. It's a factor of if and when. What should he do? So, Social Security disability or SSI, they're both similar type of benefits, are for people who are unable to work for 12 months or longer. You don't have to wait for 12 months, though, to be off and then file. All right, so let's take a break and we're going to figure out will Rick meet that 12 month rule? Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. Worth they have gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. I love you too. Bye-bye. That was Jerry. Emma just said her first word. Oh. Jerry says hello and they'll be over soon. Who's Jerry? Is he a friend of yours? No. This Jerry. Our Jerry. And this is his wife and their little girl. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, 
dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so Rick's in this bad state of affairs. Let's assume, you know, for now, the doctors are saying he's never going to be able to work again. His back is, you know, I don't, I don't know what the medical terminology is, but let's just say it's crushed. Okay. So what, what's the process? When, 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 does he, when does he call you to file his Social Security disability Well, uh, We're, we're, we're going to have two conversations. Right, right away he's going to call me, letting me know exactly what happened. I'm not Hello, done. Jeff. This is Rick. Hello, Rick. Uh, I'm in bad state of affairs. My back has been crushed. I got no money coming in. My employees all quit. I'm calling you from the rehab facility. Ah, ah, ah! Oh, 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 sorry, Jeff. I, I, I'm calling you from the, the rehab facility. How can I get some disability? Well, actually, I was going to question, since he was hurt, a tree fell him, it was likely while he was working. Not only is he question, is he going to be entitled to Social Security disability, but is he also entitled to workers' compensation? Good question. So let's go, go Soch first with regard to Social Security. So. We're going to talk right away. He's going to tell me his problems. Certainly sounds like a very uh, a valid claim. It's not quite ripe yet. Social Security disability again, 12 months or longer is if you have to be off of work. But you don't have to wait the 12 months. Usually with my clients, unless they have permanent paralysis or unless they have a uh, life-threatening disease, end-stage cancer, for instance, um, usually it, five to six month mark is usually when I'll start the process with my clients because you want to give Social Security a reasonable amount of time that they've been off of work for Social Security to say, okay, you've been off for six months and we can see you have this horrible back problems. So we're in three symptoms. months right now. My right. injury was in So I wait about three more months because then you give Social Security enough uh, time home. that you've been off and they can see through the trajectory of your past medical what your future medical is going to hold that it's more likely than not that this is going to persist at least now for the next six months whether or not that's going to be ultimately successful no but waiting at least six months gives you the best opportunity to be successful at the first level which is your initial application so then we wait six months and then we file we file now it's going to take several months uh, eventually you get a letter from Social Security, more likely than not it's a love letter saying, sorry, we just don't feel you've been disabled, we think you could do other things. Once you get that letter, you have 60 days to file what's called a request for reconsideration, which is an intermediary kind of phase. No hearing yet, you submit more medical, they have more forms for you to fill out. Statistically speaking, most people still get denied at that level. It's very rare at this middle and level then, they get what approved. happens. Get another love letter saying you got denied. You have 60 days from that love letter to file what's called a request for hearing. These days, once you file a request for hearing, it's taking about, I would say, about 10 months or so to get a hearing with an so administrative take, law take judge. Me to the end. How long is the process before we? Because because I am disabled. Right. We know that because I I I I'm the author of the facts and I'm disabled and I'm not going to recover. How long before we'll be able to get a determination that I'm disabled and I get money? Well, like I said, so once once that second phase is, then you have oh, wow. a hearing, and then it's going to take another, say, eight to ten months to have a hearing. Once you have your hearing, you'll get a decision so within 60 days. from start to end, how long are we talking about? Uh, it's ballpark 18 months, I would say. They're trying to shorten it up a little bit, okay. and they actually are doing a good so job. So i got an 18-month window I have to survive somehow, because you're not going to give me any money. You're not. A, will you advance me any money while we're waiting for that, Jeff? I will not, and I, and, and you and I know that these companies on TV that want to loan money, Social Security claims are certainly not a claim that they ever load oh. money in advance for. Okay, so now go back to what Brian was saying. What a, how does workers' comp fit into this? Well, if he were an employee, he could get comp because he's an owner of a company. 
typically owners are excluded from workers' compensation. So the general answer is no, but if you are the owner of a company, what I'd highly recommend is either you opt into your policy, which you can do, or you buy a private disability policy that a lot of owners of companies have, um, similar to a workers' compensation policy, but it's a private disability so policy. You'd be surprised. People have a tendency to opt out because it saves them a little dollars on premium. But the amount is small of that premium in context to the claim value if you're injured. And look where you're at if you're injured, like in Rick's circumstance. Right. At best, he's got an 18, he's got an 18 month window he's gonna have to wait before he can collect on the social security disability. If you collect on both, does one offset the other? So yes, so if you're getting workers' compensation, uh, then Social Security can take credit for what you're getting from another disability policy because they're equivalent benefits, wage benefits, wage replacement benefits for if you are disabled. So Social Security gets to offset what you're getting in workers' compensation. Is it faster to collect on workers' comp than it is the 18-month wait on the Social Security? It depends. Sometimes. So it, it, well, sometimes, sometimes insurance companies are, are fine and will pay your claim right away. But as we all know, insurance companies are not your friend and like to hold on to premium dollars as long as possible. And so, 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 quick question: If 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 I'm in, if I have workers' comp and I'm clearly not able to work, and there's no real dispute that it's a work-related injury, the tree fell on me. Comp would pay for it. Well, the the money that I get paid during the waiting period that I don't get paid for Social Security. That, like that first six months, correct. That money I would get would be benefit to me. Wouldn't be offset on Social Security, would it? Correct. So with regard to Social Security, if you're entitled to Social Security disability, they they assign you what's called a disability onset date. The law states for the first five months subsequent to a disability onset date, you are not eligible for benefits. Your benefits start the sixth month following a disability. So if I settle with workers' comp, I should have as much of that money apply to the first five months, and then that way it won't go against my social, it won't be a credit on my social security. Well, you can security. only do so much because you're limited at what your Wages, rate is, yeah. but what we're able to do, and I handle this all the time, concurrent cases with comp and social security, is we're allowed to make a lot of allocations as to what the dollars represent, so we're able to state a lot of non-economic damages, benefits. So stated another them. way, you're, you're able to manipulate the numbers to make it work for your client? Correct, because workers' compensation includes vocational rehabilitation, which is not a wage loss benefit, and workers' compensation yeah. theoretically is so a lifetime benefit. So you put the money benefit. where it is so that it doesn't get set off against the workers' comp. Correct, so you can get both. Right. We'll take a break, and then we're going to figure out we got this 18-month window to survive, and what do we do about the credit card debt and the tax debt? Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays, 10 o'clock a.m., Saturdays, 7 o'clock a.m., and on KISS 105.9, Sundays, 7 o'clock a.m. Remember, you can always come in for a free consultation via teleconference, in office. You know, we're COVID smart, but we can do it, so we can do it in the office, or we can do it 
through Zoom or on the telephone, whatever makes you most comfortable. Just call 888-235-HELP or go online and sign up. We cover debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law issues with Pat, disability issues with Jeff. Again, just sign up at lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Also, go online for our free reports, Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions by Ken Gross and uh, Jeff Linden, Bankruptcy Is It Right for Me by Brian Small, How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formations, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan, and The Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, and Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. You're all set to retire. You have your home paid off, money in the bank, and sound investments. But if you're not careful, all the things that you work so hard for can disappear. At Samasco Financial, we'll help you prevent that. We go beyond ordinary asset management. We'll safeguard everything that you have by creating a plan made specifically for you. How much can you afford to lose? Nothing. Protect the people that you love and the things that you have. Call Samasco Financial today. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so Rick's got a problem. He's got no employees. He's got no income. He has $8,000 sitting there as his lifeline. He's got credit card debt, and he's got a little bit more of available credit that he's using the credit cards. But he knows he's got a year and a half before he's even going to see money out of, the, uh, out of the Social Security disability. How much will he see, basically, if he's making $100,000 a year all these years? I'd estimate probably about $2,200, $2,300. A month? Yes. Okay. All right, so, and so he's got to figure out how to live on that $2,200, $2,300 a month once he gets it. And in 18 months, he'll get a big check, though, right? So in 18 months, if he gets benefits, he'll get all his past due benefits. So we're talking about probably a year's worth of, of past due benefits. So that's going to be a $30,000 check, roughly. Oh, yeah. There. Okay. All right, so what does he do about the tax liability? What does he do about the credit card debt? So from the standpoint of eventually Rick will need a bankruptcy to get rid of the credit card debt, or we're going to make Rick uncollectible so that nobody can ever get to him. But the bottom line is, is Rick's got a problem with his too much equity in his house. And I can only protect about, once he's disabled, I can only protect about $60,000 for the equity in so his home. So you got home. a suggestion to solve that problem? Well, we, we could, you know, he's going to end up borrowing money from family and friends if it's available. And if he does that, we could give whoever a mortgage on the property. So let's say I happen to be Rick's brother, Jerry the bartender. 
and I go and I loan. Rick needs money because he's. Rick uh, is going to take out, give give Jerry a mortgage for how much? For as much as is necessary to eat up the equity in the house. So, or how much can he have? In equity? Well, as I said, from a bankruptcy standpoint, if he otherwise qualifies, he can have about sixty thousand dollars equity in the All right, house. Right. So I so I loan him forty five thousand dollars on a note. It's going to eat it okay, up. Okay. He eats up his equity. He takes that forty five thousand and uses it for, uses it for his living expenses. And when it's gone. He files bankruptcy. And the reason why we have to wait to file the bankruptcy is we have tax liability that could be yeah, discharged. I, that's what I want to find out. What about his tax liability? Well, at the moment, his 2017 liability could be discharged in bankruptcy if he filed, but the other three years won't because they're not old enough yet, assuming it's income tax and not payroll tax. The other problem is the equity in his house. His likely resolution is to get him on currently not collectible status now based on his assets and income. If I use that mortgage on the house, does that solve, help solve that problem? Not entirely, because the equity in his house, the IRS is going to look to to satisfy what he owes, at least 80% of that equity. So he, if he could borrow more from his brother-in-law and eat up that equity with a mortgage, that would help. But the, the threshold for the bankruptcy qualification would be different yes. than what the IRS would want. So what we do is we decide, we decide how much equity do I have to get rid of to cover the tax man, and that's how much I need to loan Rick as his brother, take a second mortgage, get rid of the equity. The second mortgage, just so you understand, isn't a hoax. I'm going to give him the actual money. He's going to need that money to live on. I'm helping my brother. It's just rather than just giving him the money, I'm going to take back a mortgage to protect his equity in the house right. for his interest. So we combine the tools of the mortgage, the currently not collectible with the IRS. Because really you want to wait until how many years to get rid of all the taxes? Well, we you want, want to, to wait, wait three, three more years. Yeah. Well, we can make that happen, though, because he's disabled. The credit card companies are going to chase him. We just They right. can't collect the Social Security disability anyway, can they? Well, the Social Security, as long as the money that's from the Social Security Disability gets deposited into an account that only has that money in it. And that's not going to be a problem for Rick because he's it's, not going to have any other money. It's not attachable as long as you don't commingle it. So we work out a plan that gets him out of his tax debt, gets him his Social Security Disability, gets him gets rid of the equity in the house, and gets him a bankruptcy. All right, it's I, just got, a one, time I got one more plan. question though before we're going to, to wrap it up with all three of us. When he's going to get this thirty thirty five thousand dollar $35,000 check, do, is, is it okay he get in this case he's going to get the check that money will be gone and spent by the time we file the bankruptcy Correct. down 3 4 years down the road if he could file bankruptcy right away if he had zero equity in the house then what you'd want to do is hold is file the bankruptcy before he gets the check maybe or maybe not it all depends the tax debt is going to control every situation is different if he had no tax debt and he had no Just equity in the house 200,000 dollars of the credit card debt we would file it tomorrow we'd file it before he gets the money yeah. okay but if he had no equity in the house, he'd probably qualify for an offer in compromise. Oh. oh, there you go. So here's, so next problem, so Rick's biggest problem, you guys have it, a, a handle on the credit cards, you got a handle on the tax, you got a handle on the, on the, on the Social Security Disability, is how's he going to learn to live on $2,200 a month? That issue is a budget management issue, mm -hmm. which we're going to talk about on our next show. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with the Water Reality.